I chose the Seiko Via Venezia. Okay. Um, personally, I've just done a lot of work on the inside of these machines, so for my own peace of mind, I know exactly what's involved. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just, I really like that. Um, it's very simple. Um, I like it more than the aroma in the sense that uh, the steam arm's controlled by a switch. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's kind of one of the things that makes this nicer than the aroma. Okay. Is just that when you open the steam arm, a switch hits that it, you know, controls the pump. Um, so is it more of a seamless kind of thing or? It, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, you know, on the aroma, the seal's kind of made like on a, a copper to copper type of thing. Okay. But on this, you know, it's really, it's kind of, it's much more mechanical. Got it. Um, but yeah, I like how simple it is and how the layout's very easy to use. Mm -hmm. um, and it's definitely my favorite single boiler machine. Thanks, B. No problem. I chose the DeLonghi EC860 because it has a unique feature that most other semi-automatics do not, which is automatic milk frothing. Oh, for uh, like a one-touch kind of yeah, it's kind of, once again, like a super auto um, <laughs> combined with your semi-automatic functionality. Cool. I chose the Breville Infuser. Okay. Um, and I, I just absolutely love their products. They sit really well on the countertop. They're so attractive. Um, I love that it has a really substantial water tank in the back. Just really thoughtful features like this, you know, tamper that kind of is magnetized so it just sticks right up there. You don't even have to worry about it. I love that there's like a separate hot water dispenser right here and it doesn't come out of the steam wand. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really easy to use and it has that very basic uh, volumetric programming. So mm -hmm. I think it's a really great starter single boiler machine. Thank you. Thank you. In case anybody is watching who wants to buy me a birthday present. <laughs> This is what I want. Okay. I have a small Breville at home and I'm waiting for it to die, but it's been over six years and I'm still waiting. <laughs> but I really want the Breville infuser. Okay. This is my upgrade. This is what I'm going to get. What do you like about it? I love everything. <laughs> so easy to use. And yeah. the coffee is amazing and the foam is really great. For when you do your lattes? Mm -hmm. I guess we just drink lattes at home on the weekend. Cool. All right. Thanks, Sam. Thanks. Mm -hmm. CC1. Okay. The features that you get and the way this is built, you're not going to burn up the boiler because it basically acts like an autofill. It's got a PID built into it, stainless steel casing, 58 millimeter porta filter, uh, and it's just well built, and I like it. I like the features you get for the money you put out. Cool. Thanks, Kel. Mm -hmm. So I chose the Crossland CC1. Okay. Um, great price for what you get. So a right. ton of programmability. Mm -hmm. You can um, program in brew time pre-infusion time and brew temperature okay. in three different settings. Um, single boiler, but it has a thermal block on the steam side. Mm -hmm. So um, quicker turnaround time from steaming to brewing. Okay. Also, since it's a thermal block, give you a little bit more time on steaming so you can kind of perfect your microphone. So you, it, it's for like beginners. Exactly. To get some nice milk. Okay. Exactly. Um, you do need a good grinder with this guy, but um, in, you're going to get a way better shot. At the end of the day? In the end of the day, yeah. Okay. Um, and 58 more, uh, millimeter portafilter <clears throat> and really easy access to the water tank in front and you can see how low it is. Also, with that thermal block, yeah. um, you're not going to, you have less chance of blowing out your boiler, or burning, burning out it. your boiler. Okay. Um, so yeah, CC1. Cool. All right. Thanks, Bunny. Thank you. So this is my favorite semi-automatic okay. single boiler machine. Um, great features. It has that nice temperature control on the boiler. Mm -hmm. It has built-in pre-infusion, two buttons that you can program. I think for the money you get an awesome package here. And it, it just does a really good job. ton of um, options for you. You can do the single or the double basket, the single wall or double wall. Okay. So again, very versatile, size, big size water tank. Great little machine. And um, it's got a storage tray. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's everything. Exactly. Everything you could ever think of. <laughs> All right. So that is the infuser. Yep. Thank you, Dory. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I chose the Via Venezia. Okay. And um, I chose this because it's, again, really easy to use. It's a great machine to get started with, but mm -hmm. then you can build on that. You can get the um, the non-pressurized portafilter for it. You can get the upgrade on the steam, um, the Panarello. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it gives you great crema with the pressurized, which is awesome if you don't want to invest in a grinder right away mm -hmm. because you're just getting started. And then you can kind of build up from there, maybe get a grinder next and then the non-pressurized. So, um, and it's also really well made. Okay. So, and it does a great job. Cool. Thanks, Terry. Sure.
So I chose the Via Venezia. Okay. Um, it's a really nice machine. It has a, a Panarello, so it's a little more automated with its frothing. Mm -hmm. um, so a little less fuss. And um, it has um, a really good price point, um, being like that, in between of the really entry-level little um, finicky guys up to the larger single boiler machine. So gives you that um, ability to still use pre-ground or to freshly grind your coffee. Cool. Thank you. Thanks.